and that we are ruled by criminals that are openly waging war on the press in front of everyone and getting away with it. Imagine what comes next. Well, more bondage, more sickness, more pain. Look at this new shock poll. 62% of Republicans feel betrayed by their party. We'll be getting into that. It's a Fox News poll. That's why the entire Republican leadership with the Democrats and the National Chamber of Commerce are giving more money to defeat Tea Party candidates in the last election and the upcoming election than the parties are donating to fight each other. Look it up. That's why they're indicting Tea Party governors and Tea Party attorney generals and Tea Party filmmakers. I don't agree with Michael Moore's politics, but if they set him up politically and arrested him for some little chicken stuff, I would defend Michael Moore vehemently. Not a word from him about Dinesh D'Souza being thrown in prison for getting five friends to give to a Senate campaign and not setting up a PAC to do it. Totally legal. He just didn't dot an I. And I told you they're coming for everybody. They're going to bring in 300,000 refugees out of the Middle East, admittedly full of Al-Qaeda and ISIS, and they'll end up attacking. But don't worry, the FBI is too busy with the FTC and the SEC and everybody else harassing small businesses. This morning I got up real early and I was just looking at FTC and SEC stuff. And it's just like they'll go after some supplement company because over you know that Arnold's involved with because over four years they charge business vacations in golf to the company. And then I go read the code and that's totally kosher, but they don't care. They'll go after people for playing golf at company outings that's part of company entertainment and try to put the people in jail while the SEC and others knew for years about Bernie Madoff and did nothing. They know all about the big banks laundering drug money and do nothing. The, the CIA runs the major drug cartels. Our troops are made to grow the opium in Afghanistan on record. But if they catch your teenage daughter or son with one shot of heroin, five years in prison. A ruined record. And when they get out, they got a five-year education in criminal operations. A five-year degree. That's how sick all this is. And we've got the blackmailed, controlled Congress, the blackmailed, controlled Supreme Court, as the crazy train goes right over the cliff. And we've got a Justice Department that shipped over 20,000 firearms into Mexico to demonize the Second Amendment and run a false flag. CBS News even got the memo. I was saying it was clearly a false flag. They got it, saying this is going to be used to blame the Second Amendment and restrict firearm ownership. That's the plan to field agents who were getting upset and didn't want to be part of it. And you know what they did to the reporter that broke it from CBS News? They fired her. But you know what? She has her honor. She's a good person. We have the biggest war on the press this country has ever seen by Barack Hussein Obama. I mean, that's admitted by Jonathan Turley, who's been a guest on the show, the liberal constitutional scholar. It's a fact that Obama has jailed more journalists and gone after more whistleblowers than all modern presidents in the last hundred years together since those laws were on the books. The Trading with the Enemy Act, the Sedition Act, all of it. But because he's black, it's supposedly trendy, so it's okay. Does anyone feel safe having a government like this? Does anyone feel safe with the president outside of law just shuts down a thousand plus power plants and increases our power prices and gives General Electric waivers to make huge profits because they're not under it? Does anyone feel safe with states all over just starting forced inoculation even outside of law? 
because laying down to these people is what's got us to this position. The reason America had lower taxes, was freer, and everybody wanted to move here, was the people wouldn't put up with tyranny and would fight back against it. We were known as fighters, and so we had prosperity. Really, that's all America had was the fact we were fighters. We had a lot of problems, but there were constantly brush wars, constantly people standing up against corrupt government, local, state, federal, constant fights with the railroads. Americans didn't bend over. That's why we were great. Now, we've gone from the greatest to some of the most servile people in the world, and it's time to stop it. So to be clear, it is a badge of courage, a badge of honor to have MSNBC, CNN, the Houston Chronicle, the LA Times, the New York Times, basically every major publication in the country on a weekly basis or so, writes articles claiming I want to kill police, that I say the world's ending in September, that Jade Helm's going to be martial law uh, in, in, in September, you know, just constant lies that I influence the Boston bombers, that I'm deeply racist. We're under massive disinformation attack because they want to inoculate people psychologically, intellectually, mentally, to hate Infowars.com, to hate Alex Jones, to assassinate my name before someone finds the website, the radio show, the films for themselves. Because it's so dramatic. We get like... 97% positive votes on YouTube. Nobody gets that. Our products get five point, you know, you know, five star ratings, just 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 unheard of. We're growing exponentially. Even as the economy implodes, the audience is expanding. So even though less revenue comes in per listener, we're able to still expand even in the face of a media implosion. The world's in a depression. And people are waking up now in droves all over the country and the planet. And so they're going after any leadership, whether it be Governor Abbott of Texas or the Attorney General of Texas or other conservative libertarian Republicans. They're going after everybody, folks. I expect they'll try to go after Walter Jones, the congressman who's joining us next hour, who spearheaded getting rid of Boehner. Praise God that happened today. I expect they'll go after Louie Gomer. Chuck Norris. I got sent a photo this morning from Chuck Norris and his son. I, I, we're asking permission to tweet it. They haven't tweeted back yet. When his son, Mike Norris, who's a big filmmaker in his own right, was here in studio with us. He went ahead and openly said that his dad told him point blank, you get involved in the liberty movement. Oh, there it is. We did tweet it. It's on Real Alex Jones with the InfoWars shirt. He said, get ready for them to come and try to kill you or set you up or indict you. But he said, I'm very proud of what you're doing. And his son told that story sitting right next to me here a few months ago. Because they're putting a movie out about a martial law takeover in America that I'm in. And you better believe that their family has been put under a lot of pressure as well. This is what goes on in this so-called free country. In America, Chuck Norris told his son, Mike Norris, who learned how to ride motorcycles with Steve McQueen, Americana patriot. You do this, there's a good chance they're going to kill you. But I'm proud of what you're doing. That's what's really going on in America. And most people are intimidated. I would be intimidated by putting my tail between my legs and giving into it. Because that's scarier than having them pull me over, plant drugs on me. God knows what they're going to make up. God knows. And I just see it as a foregone conclusion. I don't want it to happen, but what brings me solace is just accepting it. I consider myself to be dead already. And I'll tell you, that's when you're really alive. I remember I was talking to my uncle a few months before he got sick and died last year. So it was in 2013 I was talking to him. He died in January of 2014. And he'd been in a lot of secret helicopter operations with special forces. 
shot down seven times. He never even told us that until we dug through his, his army chest one time when he was at work. And I was driving along with him talking about the death threats and the dirty tricks. And he said, I said, you know, though, the great part is God gives me comfort. I just turn it off and think that I'm basically dead already. And he looked at me and he goes, that's what you've got to do. And just the way he said it, it was like, I, he totally understood what I was saying. I understood what he was saying, and that's what it's really all about. I'm dead already. And that's when you're really alive, folks, is when you're dead already. There's nothing they can take from me now. Not my children, not my name, nothing. I know that I've stood for what's right and what's good, and all the haters and all their agents and all their minions that have failed so many times before, I believe in my heart of hearts, you'll fail yet again. But whatever comes out of this, in the final equation, I've stood for what's right and what's just. And more people need to do that today. And more people need to tell their friends and family about Infowars.com and the forbidden information, what the system doesn't want you to have. More people need to become bold and stand up because they can't stop us all. And they know that's happening now. They know the military's blowing the whistle. They know people inside government are telling the truth. They know the truth's coming out. And I can look in the eyes of the New World Order, and I can tell you they're scared. And they should be because the truth and justice is coming. And they cannot shut us all up. And the spirit of America is rising to face this tyranny. Are we really going to put up with a war on the press in this nation? Let's go to my report. Obama is working on shutting down major independent American news operation. And again, I have this directly from multiple sources. This is going on. This is what they're up to. This is how they're operating. This is what they're doing. And it's all about the shutdown of information so they can fully take down this country and take your pension funds and gut the borders further and take down this civilization. And I want to ask you the question, are you going to put up with it? Because groveling and giving into this has only made it worse. Here is the report. And at the end, I'll add some points that I didn't have in the report. I need to write some notes on this because it was point blank that they want to shut down this operation or wound it or keep it from reaching more people or keep it from growing because they understand that we're a conduit that can force major stories out. I mean, Walter Jones is coming on with us next hour, the congressman who came on this show and went on others, but, but admitted this show was one of the main groups. You, the audience, are the power. You are the people. And that you coming on and you supporting what we're doing and you coming on board is the reason that he believed a month ago that Boehner would be stepping down and now it's happened. Do you understand that? In a sea of passive people, in an ocean of cowards, in an ocean of brain-numbed, zombified sheeple, InfoWars is a gathering place, a focal point for millions of of people that will stand up against the bullies. And the crooks are scared. They've committed so many crimes and been so arrogant, their back's against the wall. They're committed to their cause. And all its evils. And God always does this before a nation is judged. The evil is brought out in the open. The people are given a choice whether they're going to go with it or stand against it. And you're all being given your choice right now. If America doesn't repent now and turn back... And if the churches don't stop being government institutions, and if the military and the police and the FBI and the rest of you don't start speaking out more and putting your careers on the line more to tell the truth and to blow the whistle, we're going to be judged worse than Germany was by the end of World War II, when one-third of the Germans were killed. You don't really see that on the news, but that's in the history books. I can assure you that if this goes through within a decade... They're going to purge everyone that served them and help bring the system in probably sooner. You will be in the exact same position as the Attorney General of Texas who's been indicted and all the and Dinesh D'Souza and everybody else. In America, we now face the Soviet 
NKVD level thuggery. Look in Germany. You criticize the open borders there. They have reactivated the Stasi. That's mainstream German news and have them putting people in jail for 120 days and or 5,000 euro fines for saying you don't like open borders. That's the cultural Marxist.